All right, y'all know what time of year it is. It's spring. Those turkeys are thundering. It's time to get this party started. All right, we're a couple days into the season. I've been chasing these long beards around our camp in Monticello and just, they've been hinned up and I hadn't been able to break one loose to get a shot on. I'm sitting there and it's breaking day and he's thundering and I make a couple calls and this old boy is fired up. Well, he hits the ground and uh, starts working around a little ridge there and, and I, I'm afraid that he's fixing to go up the hill actually because uh, that's what they've done before. Well, I'll make a couple more calls and see him turn around and he's headed my way. He gone, he gone. Yeah. Got it. I came running through here, about broke my neck. Run across this little ditch. And we got him. We got him. Yes, sir. Man, I'd been in here two two mornings previous to this, and I've been on this bird, but he was hinned up, and I couldn't get anything to work. He wouldn't, he wouldn't come on over and pay me a visit. But this morning, I caught him all by himself. And you know, in the turkey woods, a gobbler by himself is he's in trouble. And he was in trouble this morning and didn't even know it. I knew if I could get across the creek and across another creek. I could get on that little island right there and I could see in here and probably get him in gun range. So that's what I did, got set up. Just a couple little soft calls, not much at all. And he'd answer me every time. And uh, finally he flew down, saw him fly down. And uh, he was gonna work up this ridge here. So I called one more time and uh, he turned around. Now every situation out there in the turkey woods is not the same. Sometimes you call a little bit. Sometimes other birds require you to do a lot of calling. And uh, on this hunt, I had to do a little bit more than I normally do, and it paid off. So here we are, early turkey season, South Mississippi. Brookster's done got him one out of the way, killed one yesterday, and me and him's going after one this morning. finally hear one way off down in this bottom off the end of a food plot we call drag lane and uh, me and him strike out.
He stopped. He stopped and started getting spooky and then I had one little pity hole to shoot through. Hey. Holy cow. Yeah. Whew. That was nerve wracking. He probably would have walked right on in had I not clicked my safety off when I did. <laughs> I heard him drumming. <laughs> I heard him drumming. I said, he's coming. He's getting closer. Wow. Dude, give me some. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like I'm gonna get real aggressive with him with the calls. Got real aggressive. Next thing you know, it's boop, boop. and he come in here like on a string. Mm -hmm. Pretty good turkey there. Oh yeah. Look, Daddy. We got some pretty good ones. Probably a three-year-old. Nice sharp, son. Huh? Nice sharp. Laying. is that all I can say is this is real south hunt second hunt in two years I'm still batting a thousand I might as well just give it up for this year too no not really I last year I didn't get to hunt because of baseball and this dadgum coronavirus has got baseball shut down so I was able to get over here and go with Brooke this morning he killed one not too far from here yesterday morning right up this uh holler and this creek runs through here and uh this bird here he got but one time on the limb we were probably 300 yards from him we eased down the woods set up called a little bit he didn't say nothing and finally he gobbled on the ground and made a few more calls and it wasn't probably a minute we could hear him drumming i said you hear that Brooke? oh yeah it's hard to beat that Two turkeys down in two days, South Mississippi. If anybody's hunted these birds, they know how hard they are to hunt. So we're feeling pretty good about ourselves and the way this season started out. It's my favorite time of the year. It's springtime in Mississippi. In the last few years, I haven't really been able to be a big part of it. You know, the, the spring crappie fishing, spring turkey hunting. But uh, last year, it was, you know, 2020 was, was terrible and, you know, I. I hate that COVID happened and, and all the pain it brought a lot of different people. But man, it was it was great to be home and, and to be with family and friends and uh, just be back in the hometown for a while. So it's, uh, man, it's one cool afternoon. We take uh, the whole crew, whole family goes back to the, what we call the back pond on the, on the back 40 where we grew up there at the camp house at the rabbit pen. And uh, it's right before dark. I'm heading out. Everybody's in a in a convoy heading out and I see daddy pull off pull off the side you know it's just strange he was talking on the phone I thought, well he's just talking to somebody pull up the side and he said man that, I just watched a turkey fly up right here and it's crazy because we weren't I don't know, five four three four hundred yards from there fishing kids hooping and hollering catching a bunch of brim and uh I said yeah right you hadn't seen nothing and he said no I promise you it was a turkey I watched it
Was that a hunt or what? <laughs> what a hunt on the old place. That's back home, son. That's back home. That felt good right there. Didn't that feel good? Heck yeah. <sighs> Woo! He put on a show, did he not? Yeah, I kept waiting for him to get set up on my camera because I, I had a limb in my way. And you see that third pine tree right here? Yeah. Too little in the mouth? That's where I was going to shoot him and I couldn't. Hey, he started getting nervous. And then whenever you said take him, I said, all right, well, he's for sure got him. My camera said five minutes. Rookie mistake. No extra battery with me. Ooh, that's a fine, fine Ooh. Hey, uh, he, he can be a three. He can be a three-year-old. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's just, it's a cool hunt because it, I've killed a bird right here before when I was a little kid, me and Daddy and my good buddy Leonard. Cody's, isn't it? Cody Calhoun. And it's just cool to, I've been off at college and working and it's just really cool to get back to where I grew up. But what a show, man, he's a fine bird. Uh, like Dan said, back here on our hometown. Uh, Big L calls, Big L, you the man. Big L sent me some moth calls the other day and, uh, and they done the trick for us. Give God the praise, incredible hunt. First one in the books, me and Dan's gonna have to get several this year because old coronavirus has got us grounded. Uh, I don't have a South Dakota hunt canceled, or uh, Florida hunt canceled, so maybe this thing will roll on through and we can get back on the road, but right now we're having to stick kind of close to our family to see what the crazy mess is gonna do. Well, I'm Brooke with Real South Hunting, and I wanna tell you thank you for watching the show, and I wanna tell you how you can keep up with us in real time. If you'll go to our Facebook page, give us a like, if you'll go to our Instagram and give us a follow, that will let you keep up with us as things are happening. You can also go to realsouthhunting.com. You can check out some of our content on there. You can also purchase a hat there in our online store. We have over 30 different styles and colors. Each purchase helps us create the content that you're seeing now. We appreciate you watching the show. and We appreciate each and every one of you that go out there and buy a hat to show support for Real South Hunting. All right, I've been running these birds for a couple of weeks. It's already well into season. I hadn't killed a Mississippi bird yet. I mean, Easter's right around the corner and, uh, and I'm not on the board in Mississippi. Three turkeys gobbling. I said, oh yeah, this is the morning we're gonna make something happen. So they gobble, a bunch of hands here, a bunch of hands. I said, okay, the goblin hushes. I said I better get moved around and see if I can get in the middle of all this, make something happen. I stopped and called and I heard one gobble about a hundred yards. I said, okay, this is it. So I set up, and I'm telling you, I ain't hardly got time to get set up. Well, little did I know it then, my mic wasn't working properly. I don't know just what had happened, if it had come unplugged, I don't know what had happened. But as that turkey come out, of course I had to move my camera a little bit, self-filming, you know, I move my camera a little, take the shot, get out there, kill the turkey, awesome hunt, awesome morning, it's cold that morning. It's just, it just can't get no better. Everything is perfect, except have a little trouble with audio. Well, how about that now? That ain't bad, is it? Oh, goodness. Good old word here. Nice long beard. 
Oh, about, I know, I made Damien my three-year-old. He's, uh, he's sharp as a razor. Sharp as a razor, so that, that could classify him on up there, three-year-old. It ain't, he's a nice two, for sure. For sure. Man, what a flipping hunt. Good great life. The actual kill was only seconds. Well, I sat up here. Time I set up, I'm talking, time I set up, he comes strutting in, he is running to me. I'm pretty sure he'd be on the left side, but I should be framed up. Should have it. Sometimes it's self-filming, gets tough out here. Uh, well, these birds come in fast and don't, uh, don't gobble a lot. I was calling to another bird that was gobbling at me, but this rascal's the one running in on me with a hen, a hen following him and him just running. So I hope I caught all that on video. Uh, one heck of a hunt, one heck of a fine morning. So really, really good stuff. So uh, I'm gonna get this rascal out of here. Let the boys know I'm on the board. Mighty, mighty fine long beard. Give God the praise. That's the first one in the book from Mississippi. I got a couple more tags to fill. All right, there we are. All four of us on the board. Anthony, Brooke, Dan, and myself. All got a Mississippi turkey. It's shaping up to be a good year despite COVID-19. Look at this fine bird. Where's the beard at? There it is. This bird did not die from the coronavirus. That was old five, number five turkey load that got him. And he didn't go. We give God all the praise for this morning. Uh, giving us this opportunity to hunt these creatures and putting them on this earth for us and it just don't get any better than this right here just spending time down in the woods down on a little creek bottom south mississippi it's what it's all about it's, it is truly real south hunting right here yeah he may have heard the shot <laughs> we at it again teamed up again Guess what? Do Guess a... what? what? You on the camera, huh? You on the camera, son. Hey, I've been behind the camera for quite some time now. I'm gonna move the camera a little. Done. Then I, I know I got it on camera. I know I did. I hadn't, uh... <sighs> Let's hope I got it on camera. I'll put it that way. 